the reason for the growth in hop production is primarily due to the hopping rate that's popular with the craft sector or the, or the all malt beer sector. And throughout the last two to three decades, the average annual hopping ratio reported by the BATF for the U.S. has been about 0.2 to 0.25 pounds of dried hops for a barrel of beer. The Brewers Association last year reported that the anticipated average hopping ratio for their craft brewers for this year just passed through for 2014 was 1.3 pounds of hops for a 31 gallon barrel of beer. So it's over six times as many hops per barrel as what we see in some of the more traditional uh, light lager style beers. And this is obviously requiring many more hops to be grown. The other part of this is the fact that the varieties that are favored by the craft and the all malt beer sector tend to be aroma style hops that are lower yielding than the super alpha hops that we've historically produced for the big beer sector. The uh, super alpha hops tend to yield about 3,000 pounds to the acre and the aroma varieties that we're now producing more and more of each year yield about half of that. So with that we've had to add acres in order to keep producing the, more, the additional pounds that the brewing industry needs because of the fact that they are lower, lower yielding varieties. Well, anytime a grower wants to get into a new business, they certainly need to do their due diligence in researching where their market is going to be and what kind of quality and varieties and quantities that market may be desiring. Do the markets that they intend to sell into want wet hops, uh, wet fresh hops at harvest for harvest ales, or do they want the hops to be dried so that they can use them throughout the season? And factors like that are, are big cost factors in establishing an operation. If you need to put in the drying facilities to do dried hops, that's certainly a bigger upfront impact for, uh, for financing the establishment of an industry than you would have if you're going to do wet hops. Again, your, your buyer is going to drive the varieties that you plant, the quality that they're going to require you to produce, and all of those factors that would have to do with with the selection of your size and your variety. Beyond that, we've got some fabulous people within the university systems throughout the, the Northeast and Great Lakes region who are doing a lot of work trying to figure out how growers can deal with some of the pest and disease issues and fertility issues that are much different in this region than what we have in the Pacific Northwest, different climatic situation, different soil types, and all of those are important to have a good understanding of how you're going to deal with those before you launch into production.